Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 15th of 2025 is titled Collapse in Hebe's Chasma on Mars. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of a portion of Mars, and we're actually looking relatively close to the large Valles Marineris Canyon that stretches across a large percentage of the surface of Mars. It is quite large. Were it on Earth, it could stretch across the entire United States from east to west coast. Now here we're looking at a small portion nearby that known as Hebe's Chasma. And within that, we're looking at the chasma as essentially a depression on Mars. And you can see some of the walls of it there. We're not seeing the entire chasma from above. We're seeing just a portion of it. And what we're really looking at this time is the mesa at the center. And this is known as Hebe's Mensa. It's actually five kilometers or about three miles high. So you don't really get that perspective as to how large that is until you really hear the size. But that's how large this area is at the center. And it also looks like there's been a collapse there on that left-hand side. And you can see various material that has slid down from the top of the mesa down into the rest of the chasma. Now, we can also see that material has flowed there. In fact, you have some darker colored material that seems to have pooled together down there, almost like an ink on the slope going down and then down towards the bottom section there. And one thought of that is that it is actually various rock layers, that we have some salty rock layers, and that material, as the it dissolves within the ice, as the ice melts beneath the surface, and then drains through, we could get something like this that might occur. So as we continue to study these regions of Mars as imaged by various different spacecraft, in this case, the Mars Express spacecraft, which is currently orbiting Mars, and we're starting to see far more detail than we've ever seen before about the red planet. And we can see lots of structures within that, not only the collapse, but if we just look around uh, the central portions, you can see a lot of material that appears to have collapsed down, maybe over multiple times that it has collapsed. Now, weathering on Mars is a little different than on Earth and, say, on our moon. Our moon has very little of any kind of weathering except by micrometeorites. Earth, on the other hand, we have lots of weathering through uh, wind and water and also have things resurfaced by volcanic features, things that happened, haven't happened on Mars in billions of years. Mars does have some dust storms that can cause some resurfacing. And it also has an ice below the surface. And as that melts and may drop down to lower levels within Mars, then it could leave empty spaces below and cause the collapse. So gravity will tend to pull these things down and will do that over long periods of time in any case, just due to the slow pull of gravity finally working away at those rocks. But other things like that can actually enhance the erosion and cause things like the collapse that we see here today. So that was our picture of the day for July 15th of 2025. It was titled Collapse in Hebe's Chasma on Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Unicorn Space Rose. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.